We're asked to find the transformation matrix or standard matrix that will transform the unit square shown in green to the quadrilateral shown in blue. This type of transformation is called a shear. Because we have a matrix transformation or linear transformation in R2, the first column of the two by two transformation matrix is a transformation of the vector E sub one of the vector one zero. And the second column of the transformation matrix is the transformation of the vector E sub two with the vector zero one. So let's analyze the graph and see if we can determine the transformation of the vector E sub one, which equals the transformation of the vector one zero and find the transformation of the vector E sub two, which equals the transformation of the vector zero one. Let's first locate the vector one zero, which is a unit vector along the positive y axis, this unit vector here. Notice how it forms the bottom side of the unit square. To find the transformation, we need to locate the corresponding side of the image under this transformation. So analyzing the blue quadrilateral, notice how the corresponding side is this side of the blue quadrilateral. And notice how this vector is the vector two, four. This indicates a transformation of the vector E sub one is the vector two, four. And now let's graph the vector zero, one. This is a unit vector along the positive y axis. Notice this is the left side of the unit square. Notice the corresponding side to the image or the blue quadrilateral is the same side, which means the transformation of the vector E sub two or the vector zero one is still the vector zero one. This vector does not change under this transformation. This is all we need to find the transformation matrix. Again, the first column of the two by two transformation matrix or standard matrix equals the transformation of the vector E sub one, which is two, four. And the second column is a transformation of the vector E sub two, which is zero one. This is the transformation matrix or standard matrix that produces the given shear. I hope you found this helpful.